Nice to have you with us. Pack for the big 
big Christmas Eve. There were so many charges, you wouldn't believe. The laptop, the smartphone, the headphones, and ugh. Would it kill them to settle on one common plug? Yeah. And that is the reason why this cable tends to thrill the gadgets. It's got five different ends. Like lightning for iPhones, and here USB, and micro for cameras, and USB-C. Gardening's great if you got expertise, and you don't mind the bugs and the dirt, and your knees. But these are for indoors, for crops all year long. An app guides you growing, so you can't go wrong. It's called hydroponics. No dirt is involved. And if you ask me, it's called gardening salt. I miss Mrs. Claus when I'm far from the pole. Long distance relationships do take a toll. But these little lamps come in pad sets of two. You touch one to say, dear, I'm thinking of you. So her lamp lights up in my colors, like this, and the same in reverse, like a long distance kiss. The sleigh is all loaded, its runners are waxed, the reindeer are ready, and I'm triple waxed. Good luck with your shopping, get out there and browse, whatever the broken supply chain allows. Thanks, David. I mean, techno flaws. Before you go, I'm just wondering how you entertain yourself during all those long sleigh rides. Why, podcasts, of course. They inform and amuse, especially this one from CBS News. It's called Unsung Science. Oh, wait, just a sec. Great origin stories in science and tech. Informative, funny, and slightly obsessed. It's weekly and free. David Pogue at his best. Yeah. Oh, boy. There's no way I'm going to play that thing. Oh, yeah. I said you play that thing. What's in? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind making fun of my English. That's English. It's Sunday morning on CBS. And here again is Jane Pauly. First came the sitcom, now the movie. It's called being the Ricardos. Mo Rocca talks with some familiar performers playing some of the most famous people in television. Well, maybe I wasn't exactly a star, but would you believe I was a featured player? Lucy and Ricky. Chorus girl? Fred and Ethel. Ticket ticker? Seven decades on, and the world is still on a first main basis with characters made famous by Lucille Ball, her husband Desi Arnaz, William Frawley, and Vivian Vance. Which is why expectations are high, as a movie about the real people behind I Love Lucy is about to hit the big screen. Oh, here you are, Ethel. Thank you. There are many people who feel very strongly about these characters, like their family. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you don't think about it when you're doing it, right? <laughs> Can you assure the public that you've done your best to do justice to these characters? <laughs> Look at their faces, I guess. I mean, done everything with, that was in my uh, ability to, yeah. I got it. I got the part. Which one? I got the part. Yes. Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem has the awards and box office clout to headline Hollywood's biggest movies. But along with co-stars J.K. Simmons and Nina Arianda, who have an Oscar and a Tony between them, they felt intense pressure to get their roles right. I know that we did our best, but we were not absolutely no, obsessed we're, with it. Yeah, we're obsessed with it. And I know you would have the four of us, in our own ways. And also, I had to learn how to sing and play the congas. And, and, and you were. Yeah. 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 It's like. Thank you. Thank you very much. You sing Mabalu. Yeah, not like this, don't worry. Come like on. <laughs> with the driving cadence of an Aaron Sorkin script. Ricardo's races through a frantic week in which Lucy 
Theo Ball is accused of being a communist. Desi Arnaz is accused of cheating on Lucille. Does Desi love Lucy loosely? They took time on that. And the couple announces Lucy is pregnant. With a baby? Action! Lucy! All against the high stakes production of an episode of I Love Lucy. Sorry! I got lost for a second. I'm guessing that there are many things that surprised you, but what are some of the top things that surprised you learning about Lucille Ball? I mean, all of it. All of it. How they built the production company, the way in which they were such a team. I didn't know how clever she was, how she'd always say she wasn't funny. So, I mean, you, you name it, I didn't know it. And you should remind props that I need garden shears in the opening scene. Copy. We have to establish right away that I'm setting a fancy tip. You don't have to. We'll have flowers in a vase. I'll cut one of the flowers. She doesn't care. Was she a great actress? She actually was. Yeah. Yeah. She was a great dancer, too. Da, 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 da. She moved beautifully, which makes sense when she's doing a physical comedy. But she was a beautiful dancer. Da, da. And I always say she had the most beautiful hands. She used her hands all the time, particularly when she talked. But she was so smart, which I love. And that's really depicted. And she and Desi, it was I, it was a love story. I think um, the deep love they have for each other is still alive. Do you think the comedy between the two would have worked if they didn't love each other? I don't think they would have been able to withstand the stress. I mean, it was an enormous amount of stress when you're doing a show and also the perfectionism, which you still have, which was like, it's got to be great. I did the calculation. In the course of one week, I see you one twentieth as much as your second trombone player. Well, learn to play the trombone and I'll give you this job. Well, how hard is the trombone? Married off camera and on. They were one of America's most famous couples. They fine. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a powerful love story. That's what they mean. What? Uh, a powerful love story. We a lot of love. Between these two people that create this amazing show, um, the price you have to pay for that in some ways. They were exposing themselves in a way. They were exposing themselves, right? And speaking of which, that balcony scene. I bought a part of your tuxedo. I mean, that's the kind of Lucy and Desi you never saw, obviously. The sitcom was in the 1950s. Yeah, he was an alcoholic. It comes with pants, but, uh, I'm great. Not for long, Pat. They both have this sensual energy. I mean, you can tell on the show, you can tell when they're talking, they have this force, they, they, they embody this sensual energy, which doesn't mean that you have to have sex con continually. It means that there's a, a force. That, that's unstoppable, that it's not rational, it's something that is more animal. And uh, I think one put the fire into the other. If Lucy and Ricky Ricardo were fired... What are you doing here? Downstairs neighbors Fred and Ethel Mertz were ice. That's your idea of a cute young chick. For the love of God, old man, this isn't hard. In fact, J.K. Simmons and Nina Arianda discovered that the Mertz's on-screen bickering was no stretch at all for actors Bill Frawley and Vivian Vance. Don't tell me comedy. And if Little Rusty is a communist, well, I'm gonna beat the out of a seven-year-old kid. I have no problem with that. I'm done. I was really surprised that, uh, that Bill and Vivian just couldn't stand each other. I thought that was characters. <laughs> you know, I thought that was... Uh, uh, the Mertzes. What was the source of that animosity? Rumor has it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before they even set eyes on each other, um, Bill had overheard Vivian complain that she's going to be paired up with this old man, that you're marrying me to my grandfather. And that did not go over well with Bill. Because there was a big age difference. Big age difference. And not she big. was 22 years. Not unlike Nita's uh, age difference to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is art, art, very closely imitating life here. In real life, of course, Lucille and Desi divorced three years after the series ended. Why didn't the marriage work, Javier? <laughs> oh my God! I knew okay. That this moment was coming. Can you explain to me? Uh, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do I know? I mean, it's, it, it worked. I mean, it worked. Uh -huh. It worked. It was, they worked together for a yeah. long time, and they loved each other. Exactly. I mean, that's just a sense. But then 
know something went wrong and you want to go and you have to go to watch the moon. That's a good sale. One of my favorite things just learning about them as a couple was long after they were not a couple anymore, every time you would hear them speak about each other, or whether in their books, in public appearances, they had such regard and respect and, and love for each other as, as artists, as human beings, as parents. Whatever was incompatible about, about them as a couple, they were both very generous with each other. Are we silly? Yeah. And it's their unmistakable bond oh. that's forever recorded in black and white. Why did she insist on Desi as her husband in the sitcom? Because they had great chemistry, they were fantastic together, and he's the perfect person for the job. Okay, that was, you think that was a... You asked me? That was a bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I sound like her. <laughs> Lucille, go away. <laughs> The plot thickens. Ben Mankiewicz looks at the life and legacy of Lucy. On the